to hugging him and not I just I get so mad at him and, and I can't shake it right and he, he just he doesn't get it and and I'm tired of having to explain every feeling I feel to him just to be dismissed you're just saying that to make yourself believe it's true oh, hold on wait what wait how You're there? Yeah. You forgot to end the call. <sighs> Fuck. Yep. That bad, eh? Which part? Where do I start? Please. Please don't start. You see what you do? You just fucking shut down then you get pissed off and then that's it you're done well because i am done john okay i i'm just done excuse me mr perry but i have a ms friends from pacific mutual on line two for you not now jeanette well she says it's urgent i'm talking to chris right now Oh, hi, Mrs. P. Did you do something different with your hair? Yeah, um, I did, actually. <laughs> I knew it. It looks great. You know, Mrs. Perry and I... Thank you for noticing. <laughs> <laughs> you bet, Mrs. Perry. Oh, I almost forgot. Mr. Perry. Not now. Oh, but it's about tonight. Wait, tonight? John, I thought we were discussing things tonight. Oh, no, no, don't worry, Mrs. Perry. It's a late dinner meeting. Thank you. Downtown Oyster Bar, she wants to make sure that you're wearing safe shoes. She says it's a slippery slope. Sorry about that. Whatever. Where were we? Look, I gotta go. Um, um, what about the kids? Don't you think the kids deserve better? That is not fair, John. Of course they deserve better. Where, where are you going with this? It's not all that between us. Like, we made three beautiful kids together, you know? We have good times, too. Remember our last holiday together? Yeah. Yeah, when you left your wallet in the safe at the hotel in San Francisco and we had to drive all the way back from Santa Barbara to get it. That one? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, it was nice. To be honest, every holiday, every road trip, every plane ride, it's, it's always been good with you, you know, fun. Somehow we, we just have fun. Things that should stress us out just, just become an adventure with you. Mr. Perry, Ms. Cheryl from Tampa International on line one. Jeanette, I'm still talking to Mrs. Perry. Well, she says she has to talk to you ASAP, pertaining to tomorrow morning. Jeanette, please just take a message and I'll get on it. Oh, hey again, Mrs. P. <laughs> there, Jeanette. You know, that color looks great on you. Thank you. Jeanette, we were kind of in the middle of something here. Oh, right. Sorry, Mr. Perry. No, 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 it's, it's all right, Jeanette. Chris, don't encourage her. Ms. Cheryl, 8 a.m. tomorrow, yoga and smoothies at One Dog Down. 
She says she's flexible. <laughs> Thank you, Jeanette. Oh, sure thing, boss. <laughs> Bye again, Mrs. P. Bye, Jeanette. All right, well, I should go too, John. I have stuff to do before the kids get off of school. Chris, please. Do you remember that epic water fight we had in the same tree, you know, driving down the 101? I do. Remember that night in San Diego? Like when we got stupid drunk. Of two drinks on the balcony, you know, and when we made ourselves sick eating junk food all night and laughing at everything. John, stop. Stop what? You were the one leaving, remember? You're the one packing up my stuff. No, because you want to leave. <laughs> I give you anxiety and, and you deserve to be with someone you can look forward to ending your days with, spending your evening. Yeah, and that someone is supposed to be you. You won't let me. Well, it's a learned response. So is letting someone go. Go be with someone who is smart like you and successful and can speak three languages. You know, some, someone who loves going into work at the crack of dawn and has a business degree and someone with a great body who loves to work out at eight o'clock every morning. Chris, Chris, look, you, you just look at the picture. You know, I, I see you looking at other women. I mean, fuck, even when the kids are with us. What's wrong with looking? Because I want to be with someone who adores me. Right? Just call me old fashioned, but I want to be the most beautiful woman in the world to at least one person, John. And that's supposed to be you. Don't do this. To me, you, you are the most beautiful woman in the world. Mr. Harry, it's your lawyer on line two. Not a good time, Jeanette. Well, she says she can meet you Friday at five for drinks at the Standard. You're a lawyer? Thank you, Jeanette. You two can discuss the terms of your divorce over dry martinis. She says she knows how much you like your cocktail. <laughs> Chris, Chris, please don't, don't go. Oh, God, she's done it again. Mr. Perry? M Mr. Perry, I... Ms. Perry? <laughs>